welcome to this beautiful workout with me. I'm your host today through Jimra. My name is Mandy. I'm gonna lead you through five blocks of work. Each block is specific to either cardio, strength, or core specific moves. I'm using 12s, fives, and some mini bands today. That doesn't mean you have to use that. Use what feels good to you. Most importantly, work smart and have some fun. Are we ready to get started? Yeah, the answer is yes. Okay. Warm up is four minutes. We start in three, two, and one. Basic squat, drop down, twist and reach. Drop down, reach to the opposite side. As you do this, just think about like wringing out your torso. I'm pivoting off the back foot and I'm opening up my chest towards the sides of the space. Good. As you continue to do this, start to tap in to the breath work. So exhaling to lift, inhaling to drop into the squat. Beautiful. So we get four minutes to just get our bodies prepared for this strength and cardio conditioning workout. Yes. I'm pumped. I'm ready to sweat. I hope you are too. Let's do one more per side over here and over there. If you're not jumping today, it's okay. We're gonna start with our jacks. Again, if you're not jumping, you're gonna do single legs alternating. As you jumping jack, knees are soft, shoulders are packed, and upper body is tall. Can you brace your abdominals with me? Good. This is three, two, and one. Plant your feet. Give me some push kicks. Showing this to you from the side, I'm driving through the heel of my foot. <laughs> I'm also struggling with balance because I'm a human, right? So push kick. Exhale. How can you use your lower belly to drive your knee up towards your chest? Give me three two and one good turn to a corner of your space and draw a knee in now i could make this a little more challenging but considering the weather and considering all the work we have ahead i'm just preparing my body how could i make it more challenging getting a little bit lower three two and let's switch our sides angling to the opposite side pull that knee in Try to get the arms across the torso. So you're not just pulling the knee in directly, you're actually twisting through the upper body. Again, that ring out sensation. Three, two, and one. Preparing for strength, bring your hands to your hips, bring your feet about shoulder width apart, hinge at your waist, and rise to squeeze. We have a lot of seat work today, so just wanna kind of get your glutes to the party, yes? So inhale to hinge, notice my knees are soft, my shoulders are packed, my back is flat like a table, and then I'm gonna squeeze. Inhale and exhale. If you're ready for a little bit more, elbows out wide, feet nice and wide, weight in the heels of the feet, wiggling the toes out. Team, we've got about a minute and a half or so left on the warm up. So as we continue to move, think about depth of work and quality of work. Try not to speed through these strength portions. Instead, think about how to be strong moving through space throughout that time. This is two and this is one. Good, coming into a lateral shuffle to the right and to the left. Take it easy, again, if you're not jumping, you can take it into a side step, right to left. As you feel a little bit more ready for work, you add a little side bend. Just add a small side bend, working into that lateral flexion, warming up our side bodies. Beautiful. We have one more portion of the warm up to go, and then we're off to the races. So if you're already sweating like me, get ready. It's about to get way more sweaty. This is eight, six, last one to the right, last one to the left. Hinge forward, push the elbows back and pump. 
push and pump, push and pump. If you're confused, just draw the elbows out and push. Draw the elbows out and push. From the front, I'm trying to get those elbows above my hips. Push, two and one. If you need a sip of water, grab it now. We're getting going right away. Jack and a kick. Three, two, and let's hit it. Here it is. Now listen, you're not gonna get a break between our movement. We have four things to do. I promise you, I'll have you working smart. I know I mentioned it in the warm up, but I'll say it again. Smart work, knowing when the body needs to pull back or when it has the energy to drive forward with more power. So like we mentioned in the warm up, we're looking for a jack into that push kick. And if you're on un uneven surface like I am, the balance is also challenged, not just the cardio element. Give me two more. One more time. Good. Back yourself up. You're going to skip your way forward. And then you're going to shuffle back. Okay, so it's a skip forward, pick up the knee, and shuffle your way back. I'm going to show this to you profile. I'm skipping my way forward. So if I don't have a ton of space, I maybe do one or two of these and I make it a little smaller. If I'm not jumping, big knee, big knee, step my way back. Big knee, big knee, get low and step my way back. But if you're looking for more, right? Higher and lower. So we're working in that depth perception, yes? Two in time, okay. Angle yourself to the right, pull to the left. The whole 45 seconds is here. The whole work is here. We'll go to the other side directly after this. Every time you twist, try to reach, like you're putting something in a pocket of jeans. Who wears jeans anymore, right? Almost. So I mentioned this in the warm up. I'll say it again. Can you get lower in that front thigh? Then I feel quad work a little more intensely. Reach and pull. Ground through the heel, drive the knee. Beautiful. Let's switch our sides. Reach and pull. So I'm already thinking about that second round. How could I make this effort harder? Great question. See these weights here? I might hold one of those dumbbells and make it progressed. And if your body's like, girl, that's insane. Don't do it. Listen to you before you listen to the human highlighter in front of you, okay? 10 more seconds. We can do it. I can do it. I'm mostly saying it for me. It's real warm. Finishing in four. Couple more twists. And that's your first small break. So great opportunity to towel off, grab a sip of water, because we're moving into our second round. In the second round, we have little bells and whistle add-ons. So you're gonna give me a plyometric jack, looks like this, into two push kicks. If you don't feel like that's good for your body, stick to the OG exercise, one jack, one push. Ready? We start in three, two, and one. One plyo, push, push. One plyo, push. Push. Drive your knee, almost like you're trying to pull something into the torso as your heel drives to the opponent. One big jump. Modification. I take it into two low impact jacks, two knees. Accessible to all, yes? So if you're like, oh my gosh, I'm breathless. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna do that. Half jack, half jack, driving of the knee. Otherwise, finishing strong. And done. Moving into the next effort, I want you to back your way up. We move into that skip. And this time, instead of the shuffle back like this, I want you to give me little bunny hops. So it's a skip forward, grab those poles, 
bunny hop back. So I'm just adding in the element of twist, showing this to you from the side. Big skip, get low, and twist, a mogul. Big skip, get low, big twist. What's the modification? Skip lifts, maybe I get off the heel, and then instead of doing that mogul back, I'm just gonna walk it back. Totally cool, yeah? All right, reaching for the left, I'm gonna grab my single dumbbell and pull. I mentioned it, but now I'm doing it. Adding the element of load makes it harder on the body, even if it's only five pounds. How else could I progress this? Make it a kick. Kick it. Literally, right? So reach it overhead, pull it across. Pull it across. I'm putting it in my back pocket with both of my hands crushing the dumbbell. Team, give me nine seconds and we switch sides to finish the block of work. Two and one. Switch it, pull, and reach. Are you breathing? Showing this to you from a profile. I'm gonna reach and pull, reach and pull. And if I wanna make it faster and harder, it's a lot more work in that moving leg, but I know you're here for it. You've got less than half the time to go. Earn your recovery, right? So really go for it right now. Wrap it up with a bow. Send it off to someone special. You're there in just a few. We got it. Cardio block over in two, one, and time. Okay, sip of water. Take care of yourself. Just take a moment and breathe. If your heart is racing like me, stand tall, believe in yourself, see what you've got in the tank, and push. In this next block of work, we're coming down to the floor. So if you have stuff on your mat, we're just gonna move it off to the sides so that you know you have plenty of space to work. In this second block, you will need your 12 pound dumbbells or a set of dumbbells, your mat, and a good catitude. Okay, pretty simple. We're coming down to the floor in 10 seconds. Timer starts in just a few moments here. This is four. All right, two and time. We're starting in a downward facing dog position. Then I shift to plank, I bend the knees, I do a push-up. Good. Down dog, shift forward, bend the knees, wide grip push-up. Mandy, what's a wide grip push-up? My elbows, they aim out and back. It's not too narrow, right? We want to get as much musculature along the chest that we can. And if you're feeling super good, add in push-ups at your feet. So that's what I'm doing right now. You could do that too. Your call. Just a few more seconds. And that is time. Flip over onto your back. Grab your lighter set of dumbbells. I'm gonna use my fives. I want you to bring your legs into what we call tabletop. Bring the hands over the chest. We just worked the chest. Now we're gonna work the chest as a post exhaustion. This is called a chest fly. My arms open like I'm gonna give somebody a big old hug. I have my head lifted, but I could absolutely rest my head. With my head lifted, I work more abdominal. But if this feels more neck, then I would suggest start slow. Maybe start with your head on the floor. The weights aren't way up here. They're right in alignment with the chest, right? So in this first round, we're just focusing on the fundamentals for five, three, and one. Drop off one of your dumbbells. You only need the other one. Take your dumbbell to your chest, right in front of it. You're gonna do a full sit up and press. <coughs> Excuse me. Full sit up and press. So that's two on one side, now you switch it. Full sit up and press. Heels dig into the floor. Full sit up and press. 
I am fully sitting up. My chest is nice and broad. I'm gonna switch after every two. So how can I make this exercise more difficult? Is by adding more weight. So you see my 12 pound dumbbells, they're getting a little bit sad because I've been ignoring them. We're gonna do those next. So drop off, no, don't drop off. Grab your second five. Come into a kneel position. So in the kneeling position on the knees, I'm gonna slide my hips back, slide my arms back. I do a straight arm kickback, bend and extend the elbows. Huh, this was in the warm up. Now I'll be completely honest with you. The likelihood I'm gonna do this with my 12s is about 0% because this muscle group is small. So I don't need to go too hard with the weight to feel the work. I can already feel it in the back of my arms. So my hips are pitched a little bit back. My navel's in, my back is flat. You got time for one more rep. And that's the first block of your strength. Second block of the work and you're in recovery. So I'm gonna towel off. I feel like Queen of Sheba, but like the hot pink version. We're gonna do all of it again, except for I'm gonna add a little heavier dumbbells into the equation and maybe a couple bills, bells and whistles or bills and whistles. I don't know very many bills in my life, but that is what it is. Okay, so we're gonna start with our push up, and we're gonna add in an alternated row. So take your dumbbell, place it in the center of your mat, straddle it with your hands, step it back to down dog. Shift to plank, wide grip push up, one renegade row. Shift up and back, come to push up, and then I do the opposite arm. So if you feel like you just rock and roll your body too far apart, bring your feet wider. Down dog, it's gonna give you more stability. Push up, grab that dumbbell, single arm row. Down dog, push up, do that other single arm row. How can I split the difference? I can always set the knees down for the row and the push up or the push up, whatever is clever. This is three, two, and one. Okay, so for me, I'm going to add weight and I'm gonna grab, add some more bells and whistles on the legs. Come on down to your mat, chest is lifted, legs are at 45 degrees. Open the arms out and lift the chest a little higher. So see how I'm lowering down a little bit and pulling in a little bit. Lowering down a little bit, pulling in a little bit. One thing I want you to take note though is the degree be between my chin and my chest, it's the same. I'm not doing this. I'm not saying yes to this. I'm just accepting the reality. Open and close. Last one. <sighs> Drop off one of your heavy dumbbells. Okay, sit up with the overhead press. <sighs> Come back and switch the arm right away. Why would I change this? Because the weight is two times as heavy. So I'm doing a single sit up with an overhead press. My overhead press is with my palm facing forward, which makes it a wide grip press. Lower down all the way, lift up all the way, and press all of the way. Good, nice and slow. If you need to protect your head, you could. Switch the bell as you lower, rise and press. Team, my friends, drop that dumbbell off, come back to the kneeling position. Okay, last challenge. Here's the extra work. I'm not letting my arms below my hips. I'm holding them static, bend and extend. Bend and extend. Why is this harder? Because I'm holding the top of my rep while I'm doing the bend and extend of the elbow. I'm gonna show this to you directly behind so you can see what's going on with my arms and my back. Pull and push. Try not to shrug the shoulders. It's a little challenging but I know you're here for it. I want you to keep going. I want you to lift up a little bit more because it's the last time you're doing it. We have time for one and done. Okay, guess what? You've completed two blocks of work. You've got a little time to rest, recharge and re-energize. Grab the sip of water, text to the friend, and get ready for our next block, core. In the core block, we're still on the mat. What I like to do between my sets is reset my space so I know where my things are located. 
So take a quick gander at what's going on. Towel off any sweat that might prevent you from doing your absolute best work. And here we are in this next block. Here we are, next block, core work, body weight. Lie down on the floor, good. Take your right hand with your right leg and touch your shin. Opposite arm and leg, pull and release. So I'm holding on to the shin bone with one hand and with the other leg and arm on the same side of my body, I'm pulling up and in. Mandy, what if this really bothers my neck? Set your head down and just do the legs and the arms, right? One thing I want you to pay attention to, not letting your back arch off the mat. I want you to close down that space. Open up on the inhalation, exhale to close. Pretty simple transition, we're switching sides. Shh. Inhale to open, exhale to close it down. I'm looking right between, between my inner thighs and I'm keeping my chin tucked so that I'm staying in my upper abdominal region here. Cool. I'm reaching and I'm pulling. Now for me, I'm kind of pointing my toes. So if you're one of those folks like dancer or something, you can always kind of mess with the foot positioning. Maybe next time we'll flex the feet. That might be fun, right? Good, finishing in just a few more seconds. We're gonna move into a butterfly bridge. So this butterfly bridge, my feet are together, my knees are separated. Bring the soles of the feet to touch, stack the hands behind the head. Once you've got that there, we're gonna lift off the seat and lower with control. I'm articulating my spine back to the mat. So in core work, I'm less concerned with the speed. So, you know, you can think of like that person in the gym that's like doing the fastest bicycles on the planet. How much work are they actually getting in their abdominals versus the heart? So right now, we're actually bracing the abs and working the back body, the erectors, the seat, pushing into the soles of the feet. Head stays relaxed, just let it be. Work to your best ability here, exhaling to lift, and then rise your way up to sit. <clears throat> so in Pilates, we have our feet about mat width apart, not too wide apart. Bring the arms out wide, shoulders peel back and down. My navel is drawn in. I twist over to a side. I reach for the pinky toe with one arm, the other arm reaches back. Rise up and then switch to the other side and lean forward. So we're getting spinal flexion and rotation. Go slow, see about the flexibility and less with trying to twist through the shoulders and more trying to twist through the torso. So imagine a beam of light kind of coming all the way to the sides of your space, okay? Last one, and that's the first set of all of that. So of course, in the second set, we add in some more bells and whistles to make it a little bit more challenging. So in this second round, I invite you to maybe put on the band or maybe add a dumbbell. For me, I'm just gonna use my five pounder. From here, I take my hand to my shin, the other hand reaches and pulls with the dumbbell. Timer is on, let's do the dang thing. So I'm flexing through the feet like I mentioned before and I'm reaching without letting my low back leave the mat. Inhale to open the arm, exhale to pull back in. Careful you're not letting your shoulder eat your earlobe. Really strong and steady on that left side. Like you're pushing your shin into your hand and your hand into your shin. So you're creating that tension in the rectus abdominis on our side that's stationary. Now, pretty simple transition. I'm moving to the other leg and arm in two and in one. Switch the legs. Now I'm holding that shin, reach and pull. What if you need to rest your head? Could I still do it here and get the same kind of work? Answer equals yes. What if I need to bend my knee? I could place my hand on my thigh and do the same kind of resistance, right? So I'm still working those abdominals on that static side of the body. Shh. Right, inhale and exhale. 
careful you're not pulling with the neck. Good team, we've got about five more seconds to go. Let's do two, let's do one, and drop off your dumbbell. Okay, so now we're gonna put something together. All you need is you. Soles of the feet come together. Hands this time go at the sides of the hips. You're gonna lift up into your butterfly bridge, sit up and twist. Lower it down, lift, sit up and twist. So I'm kind of putting together that saw with my butterfly bridge. Yes, lower down with control. Feel your spine articulate onto and off of your mat. It's a lot of stretching through the inner thighs. So this is, if this position is tough, you could do this with your feet flat on the floor too. Totally your cough. All right, last challenge. This one's pretty hard, but I want us to move a little faster this time. So twist, reach, rise, twist, reach, and rise. Just because I'm moving fast doesn't mean that I'm not getting the same effort. I'm still staying in a range and a tempo that is challenging the rotation and the flexion of my spinal column, of my core. Yes, reach, twist, and rise. Finishing out in two and in one. That is the end of your core block, so it's an opportunity for you to take a quick rest. All right, here we are, sweating like the dickens. Fourth block, and we're gonna put on a band. So if you don't have a band, it's totally cool. Band work is the jam, and we're doing that in block four. Are we ready? Say yes, yes! Put it on, and let's get to work. Band goes above the knees, and we're starting with a banded and loaded bridge. So grab your single dumbbell, I'm using my twails, and away we go. Heels on the ground, toes lifted. Weight is over the chest. I'm gonna lift and lower my hips. Lift and lower. So much bridge work today. As I lift, I'm pushing my knees away from my midline. Lift, and really, the star of the show, it's your caboose. It really is. So squeeze your seat at the top, and while you're also squeezing your seat, can you give your navel a little scoop? Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. In the next round, maybe we add a little something something, yeah? This is two, and this is one. Awesome. I'd love to tell you bridges are over. It's not true. So I'm not gonna lie to you about it, all right? Next up, we're gonna do a single leg bridge. So I'm gonna take it into my right heel to the sky. Weight comes back to the, to the crown, or excuse me, to the chest. And I'm gonna lift and lower here. So if you thought two legs was bad, maybe now you're rethinking that thought, yeah? Can you still engage your seat? Can you still engage and scoop your, your navel? Word salad, right? Word salad for lunch. Exhale to lift. Awesome. You know, if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? Switch your legs and continue. Now remember, you're gonna get a chance to do this a second time. So for right now, focusing on the foundation of this activity. What is that foundation? The heel of my seat, the back of my head, holding, bracing the weight, and of course, the engagement of the group of muscles that I'm working. Awesome team. Just a few more seconds and then we're gonna flip over onto all fours and finish this puppy out. Strength work for the win. Awesome. And rise your way up, drop off the dumbbell, come into an all fours position. If your hands don't love being on the ground like this, you could come down to the forearms. I'm gonna lift one leg out to the side and switch. Note my back. I'm not whipping my leg up and out. 
Rather, I'm controlling it out and down, alternating the sides of my body, maintaining that neutrality in my spine. Exhale to lift, my biscuits are burning, quite literally. Nice. Work against that time under tension with the abduction of the hip. This is three, two, and that is your rest. So what I like to do is give it a little love tap, you know, just a little, uh, um, you know, you can twerk if you want. I'm not gonna judge. Let's talk about what's up next. So we just did this weight overhead. Grab your second dumbbell, and we're gonna place the weights this time on our hips to make it harder to lift and lower from the hip girdle. Timer starts in two and one. Let's get it on and popping. Lift, give me a little pulse at the top. Ooh, that was a little surprise. Exhale, lift, give it a little pulse at the top and lower. My tempo up is a little faster than my tempo down. So say it takes me two seconds here and then maybe three seconds down. Less is more, quality over quantity, you know. Toes up, heels are down. That's the way we like to bridge. Exhale and lower. So when we go into our single leg bridge, that's gonna be a little more challenging. We're gonna add something to the arms because they're getting a little jealous of the fact that the legs are the star of the show. Drop off one dumbbell, plant one foot, take the other foot up. Weight starts here. I'm gonna lift my hips and bend my elbows. Lower down and bend and lift and lower. This is an exercise that requires a little coordination. So if you're coordinated, well, good for you. If you're not, that's me too, you're gonna take a little more time on these efforts. As I lift the hips, I bend the elbows and I return. As I lift the hips, I bend the elbows. Don't hit your face. Safety first, right? I think I'm falling off my mat. Switch your sides, please. Easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. Weight starts here, heel to the sky. Bend and lift, return and lower. Bend and lift, return and lower. Right? Smile, burns more calories, it's true. It takes more calories to smile. And you're like, girl, I'm not smiling right now. That's fine. Just do the work with me. We can, we will. It's all about that mindset. It's all about that mindset. Really focused, really feeling that burn. Okay, so what's up? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna grab my second dumbbell. Rise my way up. I'm actually gonna show this to you head on this time. So my knee drives out while my opposite arm pulls. So it's gonna look like this. Out and switch. Exhale, out and switch. If it's too much to remember, don't worry about the actual weights. Maybe just try it with your body weight, yeah? So last time the emphasis was just on the abduction of the hip. Now I'm adding in this wide grip row alternated. You've got three, two, and that is the end of your strength block. Four down, one more to go, and it's cardio. What I'd love to do is, again, towel off, hydrate, strike the set, because next up, we're standing. Get on up, because we're about to pump you up. Last set of work, four movements, cardio. Let's do the dang thing. It's a skater hop. Step to a side, give me a big jump, side to side. Can you cover the whole distance or more of your mat? Listen, if jumping again is not your, your jam, your favorite, take a big step. Take a big step. Maybe just try to find that single leg balance. 
Yeah? If you're looking for more, give me a little extra hop. Extra hop. Three, two, and one. Okay, downward facing dog. I come up and I kick. Pretty fun. You know, turn that world upside down. <sighs> Sounds like life. We're managing, right? So we're getting those legs above the heart, kicking to the ceiling or the sky. <sighs> we got it. You look good. I look good. We're doing it. Press your chest back. <sighs> it ain't over. It ain't over. High plank, give me some taps. So if you've got anything in the way, feel free to do what you need to do to make your space work. Say you're in a small space, like a hotel room or something. How do you make this work for yourself? Now, how could I make this harder? How could I make it harder? I jump. I jump, right? I could do a mixture of those things. I tap, I jump. I come back to the tapping. The only wrong answer is just waiting for the time to last. So give me what you got. It's the last block of work. I'm right here with you. Give me three, two, last exercise in the set. We come onto the knees, hands behind the head. Untuck your toes, drive back, twist and reach. Drive back, twist and reach. Inhale. Open up, inhale, coming full circle, right? We did a little bit of this kind of work in the warm up, And today's emphasis, I don't know if you caught on yet, it's all about that base. It's all about that base. Think about really driving those hip bones forward, you know, bringing your Saturday night to a workout. Three and done. This is your last break before we move into this final set of our final block. And how are we going to advance this work? Put your band on, boo. Put your band on. So in this amount of time, do your body scan. Give yourself a word or four of encouragement. Stick with me. I promise we're going to have some fun while we sweat. Let's do this. Back to it. Out to the side, give it a little hop. Whatever you have left in your tank right now, I want you to spend it. I want you to spend it with me. Because guess what? We have less than three minutes of work time to go. I'm kind of laughing at myself because this flooring is like blah. So, you know, just a reminder, I ain't perfect, never claimed to be, but it's good to note that uh, I too am a struggle bus. We've got five seconds. Keeping the band on, come on down to mat town, hands down, feet back, and I kick and I switch. The only difference between this round and the last is the fact that I have that band on. So if you need a little bit more work, what I'd like for you to do is pick up your pace. Maybe you're moving faster than me. If this is too much, I could lower to the knees instead and kick directly back. Same activity, less intense on the upper body should you need to pull back, right? Working smart and overworking hard. Still gonna work hard, but working smart. Yes, yes. You're saying yes to me, I know it. You can do it, put your butt into it. It's, it's quite literal, I'm working the seat. This is two. And one, come into plank, you know what's up, we've got our jacks. So again, if I need to pull back, I'm gonna step or I could lower to the knees and I could step from the knees. Stepping from the knees. No matter what, you're working to your ability and you're working smart. Okay, hands stack over the shoulders, reverse that, and continue to jump. Abs in tight. My gaze, I'm looking right between my hands when I'm doing that, right? I'm not looking up, because then my neck is all, huh, that's no good, no bueno. Good, 
Come on, count down. You've got three, two, last effort. Come down to the knees. I'm gonna add my weights, because why not, right? When on the beach, sit it back. Weights will start here and open. Open, like you're opening curtains from the right side of the room to the left side of the room. What else am I up to? Thrusting, again, a lot of booty work. <sighs> opening up from side to side, opening up and driving those hips. I love this exercise, I always feel it in my middle. I like to show you different vantage points so you can see what's going on with my torso. This time I do have my toes tucked. That's totally personal choice. Whatever feels good to you is good to me because your finish line is in three, two, and you're done. Weights come down. Go ahead and take your band off, keep your pants on. Or don't, you know, you're probably working at home, you do you. Um, I'm gonna keep mine on because obvious reasons. Right, come on down to the floor. Okay, stretch time. If you need a sip of water, please grab it. Go ahead and come on down to your back. Bring your arms to a goal post position. Make sure there's some things out of your way so you have plenty of room to do your stretching. Bring your feet wide apart. Drop your knees over to one side. If this feels good and you're a pretty flexible person, maybe you're gonna stack that leg on top of the leg that's coming in towards the mat. And I'm actually twisting my whole upper body towards this side of my mat. My neck is stretching. This is a full supine twist. Yeah. And then I'm gonna open back up and switch my sides, okay? So I cross that leg over maybe and then I lean and I look over the opposing shoulder. So as my hips are twisting towards one side, my chin is twisting to the other side, yeah? Come back through the center, hug your knees in, just give your back a little massage. I mean, after all, we just did a ton of work in our, in our booty and what we're doing right now is we're stretching out some of the low back because Frankly, because the low back and the butt are connected to each other, sometimes we just can't help but use a little bit of our lower back. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just what it is, right? All right, rock and roll your way up. Once you're up, go ahead and bring your feet nice and wide apart. Reach the arms overhead and roll to round the spine forward and feel a stretch. I know for me, if I tuck my chin in, I feel the stretch through the whole spinal column. Bonus, I feel a little stretch through the outer hip here, as well as my hamstring. That said, everybody's body is a little bit different, so if you're feeling it in a totally different area, there's nothing wrong with that, okay? Moving into the butterfly stretch. So I'm gonna bring my feet together, lift my chest, bring the hands, onto the feet and fold my way forward. There's two schools of thought on this. I could keep my back flat, or maybe I'm gonna round my spine in. For me personally, I like having my back flat. I feel a little bit more of a groin stretch and that's what I'm trying to go for. So, you know, choose your poison. I mean, either way, it's gonna feel nice. Good, and then sit any way you want. We're gonna stretch the upper body here to finish out the workout. Bring the hands behind the head, open up the chest. And then we're gonna open up the chest a little bit more, lean over to one side. Maybe I bring the hand to the ground and I open up and twist towards that side of the space. So I'm feeling that stretch through the rib cage, leaning the head back. And then I'm gonna round across and touch the knee with the opposing elbow, separating scapula from spine. Open back out, return and let's switch sides. So first thing first, I open the chest, fingertips come to the floor, I lean. I open up and then I round through. Good. Separating scapula from spine, rise back up, bring the hands to touch in front of you. Take one knuckle set on top of the other and round your back. Scoop your belly, tuck your chin, keep the shoulders engaged, open back up, opposite knuckle set on top, and round to roll forward. Good. Rise up, give yourself a little golf clap. You did the work, I did the work, I'm sweaty spaghetti, 
and I hope I see you again for another Jimra strength and cardio conditioning workout. See ya.